Oh, my calamansi is doing well. Right, so hello everyone, welcome to Manila, London. Today's video, we're going to talk about the inflation and uh, we're going to tackle how we're going to get through this. It's really hard because I'm only, you know, I work in a hospital and I'm only above minimum. We didn't have any increase this year, so I always think about how I'm going to save, how we are going to survive because of the inflation all around the world. So this is my 10 tips how you are going to save or tackle or being hard to accept the inflation in in our world. So what my advice to you first is as you can see this is my garden and I grow a lot of vegetables here but I only grow the vegetable that can grow in this country we are in uk in england also grow the vegetables that you really like don't grow the vegetables that you don't like and it's hard to uh, grow start from easiest seeds that you can grow in your garden especially um, like herbs like rosemary thyme or parsley basil all, all these kind of herbs that you like to add into your dinner or into your food every day and also plant some green leafy vegetables for for the beginners for a start because you don't need to buy in a shop so at least it's saving some money growing some of the vegetable i'll show you what i've got here one of the easiest to grow is just like tomatoes i've got tomatoes here that easily to grow i don't buy seeds from the shop what i do buy the tomato and just harvest the seeds dry it and plant the next year also some beans as you can see the beans we always use beans you can freeze this so grow them in batches so if you have that kind of beans that is growing now and then and then plant another one like next batch like this so we have beans that is growing already and also you have another beans that is growing slowly here when i saw my beans that's flowering i started planting this so now my beans is has fruit or vegetable that's ready to harvest and now the next batch is flowering already as you can see so this is going to be the next batch that i can harvest next time also you can plant chilies so you don't need to plant a spicy one you can plant some sweets or just you know give aroma into your food i'll show you my chili this is very big Oh, they, they call it banana chili in the UK. We call it in the Philippines, ano, panigang, siling panigang. Oh, diba? Ang haba niya, grabe. Mm. You can also preserve chili rather than buying in winter time. You can freeze this or, you know, pick, uh, pickling. In summertime, you can grow as well runner beans. So substitute mo ng beans, sometimes runner beans. You can grow runner beans. It's very easy to grow in your garden. Pre-boil it and freeze. So I'll show you how much I have. Yan ang aking runner beans. Uh, before, I don't like growing this because I never tasted it before. But when I tried growing it, especially your own grown, it's really, really, really nice and so delicious. So I have this beans that is growing now. And also, I have some beans that is going to be growing the next month or harvest next month. So they are flowering now. Look at that. Oh, and hindi ba? And also, they are always flowering. So you have some runner beans that is growing now that ready to harvest. And then you have some that ready to harvest a couple of weeks time. Of course, I need to show you my upo. I got some upo that is growing here again. So every year I grow upo or battle gourd. It's huge, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. I already harvest a um, few and I have more to harvest next time. Grow vegetables that you like eating and also that easily to grow. Also, not vegetables that you can grow in your own garden. Of course, you can grow as well fruits. Why not? You can grow fruits. I'll show you all my fruit in my garden. I got small garden and I can grow vegetable and fruit in here. Just like this. Can you see that? My nectarine. Wow. So this is ready to harvest. Wow. 
I love it. I only plant this last year and they can be fruit this year. And also they have some more that ready to harvest next time. You just wait until it's ripened. Also, I have cherry here, as you can see. I have my cherry tree. So this tree, I bought it two years ago and I got another uh, cherry tree that I bought last year. Not only plum, cherry, raspberry, blueberry, you can also grow pear. Look at this pear. You can grow pear as well in container. Just like that. Make sure you have a bigger container and keep checking the water from some time to time. Apart from pear, you can plant as well this raspberry. You know my raspberry because um, my raspberry is drying. So, but don't worry, they're still alive because of the heat from the wall last week. So they are drying the leaves. You can grow raspberries. I've got loads of raspberry here. And, hi. So na dry talaga yung kanyang leaves. Maybe we can plant this next time in, I know, in shady, shady um, area. There's loads. Look, you don't need to buy from the shop often. You can substitute from the garden. Also, apple. Well, of course, apple is in container. As I said, many times, apple can grow in container as well. And look, it's nice and beautiful apple here. And I have another apple over there. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, you can grow apple in container. This is only in container. Next, we have blueberries. Blueberry can grow big, but if you don't have big garden like me, you can grow them in pots just like that. And as you can see, loads and loads and loads of fruit. And in here too. So check my description below. I grow some vegetables from seed to harvest. I uploaded this in my channel here in Manila, London. So check them out. If you come this far in this video, and if you're new in my channel please do subscribe hit the like as well so it will help my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will notify on my next video and also to my uh, avid followers here in my channel thank you very much for watching my video thank you next that we are going to talk about is allotment so if you have if you don't have big garden or if you don't have really garden apply uh, for allotment in your local area I'm lucky enough to have this allotment. I applied this last year and we have the allotment this year, last May, so I'm happy. So I can grow some of the vegetables that is big growing, like potatoes, squash, calabasa, corn, those kind of, or maybe cabbages. Yeah, they are big enough um, to grow in allotment. Also, you can grow a lot in there. I have some tomatoes there, strawberries. But my advice to you, grow some onions and also some garlic. You can grow garlic in your allotment or leeks. Garlic can grow uh, six to nine months though. I don't buy garlic anymore for three years in a row. So I'll show you my garlic and I'm so happy that, you know, fresh as well that you can add into your daily dish that you make. So we are in our garage. I have garlic here that I harvest this year. And here they are. I've got loads of garlic. They are native garlic, this one. So some of them I'm growing next year in October time. Also, I have elephant garlic. This is giant garlic. They are organic. So this that I harvest from last year. My next tips for you is tools. So what kind of tools? Tools that you use in your garden, especially ladder or like this. So most of the time I need this ladder and I can easily trim or cut or harvest all my produce from up here cut here you can go higher yan so madali lang mo trail trim harvest yung inyong own vegetable and um, yeah it's very useful if they bought it last year and i'm so grateful that we have that and i can easily trim all the high uh, vegetables that need to trim into the garden and also harvest also you need to get some spade or rake that you can buy cheap in marketplace or garden center just like this spade i got a few spade here this is like multi digger so invest in some gadgets that you can use 
in your garden. So especially when you started planting or tilting your soil, this is really good. Very helpful that you could use in your garden. But they have different purpose in allotment and in your garden. So it's best to get some. Also, there's some tools that you can use a lot in your garden. So I use most of these gadgets. These are the tools that you can invest in your garden. So I didn't buy this one at a time. I bought this every year. So this one I bought last year. You need those um, tools. You have rake and little shovel here and also pruning and long shovel as well. And of course, some cutters and this one. Mm very sharp this one and also i haven't used this tip board it for you know there's some good sharp edges in here for you know digging so easily to dig especially as well you need some gloves loads of gloves you can invest some gloves as well and also from cutting micro greens and these cable ties you need that in your garden also we have some clips you know i use some clips in my garden you can clip that just like this yeah, you can use this clip just like that. Anywhere you can use that clip. You don't really need this if you don't have a lot of slugs in your garden. This is for the slugs. I think it's a tape, a uh, copper tape. Also net, you're gonna need net um, from, you know, from the birds or butterfly that lay eggs in your um, vegetables. I bought this from Poundland. This, and this one is very cheap. You don't need to spend a lot of money Poundland, they have very cheap. They're all pound, uh, one pound or one fifty. As you can see in my garden, a lot of nets that protects my vegetables and my fruits, especially my blueberries. I found more some tools, you know, for for your small plants that you need to transfer. This is our very small, especially this one when you're trying to plant small. Um, leafy vegetables or any small plants and this one for a bigger one yeah so invest some of those tools that will help you in garden also watering can so yeah invest for some of this kind of watering can it will help you in a garden massively you need that if you don't have like long host also invest from this long host and if you have some you know very far that you can water use the hose so invest from hose as well and watering can and also this kind of buckets yeah so those are my tools in a garden also my advice to you buy cheap seeds where you can buy cheap seeds or when you can buy cheap seeds from garden center around october to november all the seeds are for sale and also in allotment or you can go online and you can swap seeds or buy seeds cheaper. I do buy those um, kind of seeds in cheap price. I don't buy full price. I'm gonna buy full price in price of 75p or one pound, but not more than that. Maybe two pounds, the expensive one, but I will buy once and I will save some seeds. These are my seeds that I accumulate for past three years that I'm growing vegetable in my garden. So just like the squash, when you buy squash, save some seeds, my calamansi seeds. Those are cheap seeds that I bought in Aldi Garden Center. So they are like 45p. Yeah, just 45p. You can buy them and 65p. Some are online. So save some seeds. So these are the seeds that I am saving, flowers as well, we got loads. So we have celery that I save as well, I harvest that. So more spinach, my own seeds, and more in here. Yeah, so I save a lot of seeds, especially the corn, I save some seeds. But all my seeds are cheap, they are not expensive. My next tip for you is electricity, how are you gonna save electricity in the house, especially in October, the electric price is gonna go up massively. So we need to think about how you're gonna save some electricity in your house, like us here in UK in winter time. So not only in UK that you can save all around the world. We're inside the house and I will show you 
how we save electricity in the kitchen just like this air fryer so we are not sponsored by this air fryer this is from tower so bakanman we use this a lot this uh, air fryer we don't use this oven anymore because it takes a lot of space electric and it's not good and look at this all our trays is inside it i don't need to clean this all the time we don't use this oven anymore we only use this if you have a lot of visitors that we need to use the oven or if you have big batch of cooking we only use this but we hardly use that so we use a lot this air fryer so ad my advice air fryer is good to invest invest some of this air fryer you don't need to buy um, expensive one buy cheap one it's really helpful in your house also if you're not using microwave and all the gadgets that you have in your house turn it off just like this i think i turn i think steve turned this on again so it's lightning you can turn it off and save some electricity so as you can see i got loads of chilies in my windowsill they are doing well oh diva nice color as well so it's getting warm i'm going outside again in the garden and i'm gonna use this hot oh look at this i grow malungai in this floor we don't use this side why not plant the vegetable that you like indoor mm. or you can buy solar panel like this and you can charge your cell phone you know three cell phone and any usb laptop can do so they are very affordable um, also you can use this as a light the light here is really bright at night so it's really good to have it and very handy oh my god i really like this hat nice and big but it's taking over <laughs> anyway my another tips for you is to buy some canned goods oil toothpaste um, anything that you can preserve we are in a garage you can preserve you can buy lots of rice is in the bag because, or you can buy sugar you can stock sugar yan mga rice noodles also in canned goods mayonnaise yan mga salmon those that in cans that will last long and also there's some noodles over there um here i have some pasta sauce pasta sauce it will last long um check out the check out the expiration date make sure 2023 to 2024 and also i like coconuts so i am investing in coconuts we don't have coconut here coconut tree in the philippines we have so coconut that i like i mostly add this in my cooking especially in curry and some oil where is my oil yesterday we went to tesco and buy some oil yeah and oil in diana sisira agad it won't it will last longer your oil so i'm gonna send that to my family two of them so as you can see one two three bucks for my family in the philippines oh by the way toothpaste uh this toothpaste is very cheap like 85p from home base so it's fine it's, it's cheap don't buy any expensive products it it works the same and also i'm gonna send some seed for my family else salt i bought salt this is only uh, 95p in home base so sea salt is good and it's uh, plenty you can stack salt and also cleaning products yeah and washing up liquid we always use that cleaning products oven cleaning and also uh washing up liquid you know for uh panglaba yun meron ako doon na mga mga panglaba i bought this only a couple of months ago before the price up i bought my few i bought powder as well well hopefully we can buy more i bought that a uh, couple of months ago i'm saving them uh, if you say I'm hoarder, I'm hoarding now because I know all the price is gonna go up. And also vinegar, you can toyo. Yan, ito bigay sa akin ng aking kapit bahay, mga patis. Yan, yung mga it will last long. Also, you can buy little by little. 
you don't need to buy a lot so i accumulate this from this year by the way i forgot to mention to you to invest to your trellises i only have small garden our garden is only size of this trellis will help you to grow more in your garden and i'll show you all my trellises that i made from years ago and this year so every year i have projects as you can see in this raised bed i got loads of growing here having trellises or vertical gardening is really good idea and it helps you to grow more and to harvest more of course and also i got this arch trellis i grow upo here my battle gourd and also at the same time i'm growing my passion fruit as you can see my passion fruit over there so it's now ripe ready to harvest so in this arch i grow two one vegetables and one fruit as you can see those are our fence and i got trellises as well all around here and also at the back if you can see at the back i grow my some of my vegetables and some of my flowers over there so those are my trellis and also this is my trellis yeah so vertical trellis metal trellis and also this is um sitting area but i grow i grow flowers here around so you can use that as a trellis and i've got another trellis here yeah very very useful i use that for my beams and also i've got another trellis there and over there also basket right you don't need so you can grow also a basket you can invest a basket in my basket i have some tomatoes growing here as you can see and also i have flower this is my dahlia flowers here yeah so you don't need to plant just flowers in your basket you can grow as well vegetables so i got few uh, basket in my garden just there over there and a lot here so you can grow vegetable or flowers in your basket most of my garden is vertical as you can see it's like a gubatna yeah so we have small garden but i maximize my garden a lot of fruits in pots vegetables and a lot going on in here so every single space i use them in my garden also my tips for you grow some poultry right chicken but we have quails at the moment but we harvest a lot of quail eggs already Ooh, can you see our quails hello and some quail over there this is our small runner for our quails and that's their house yeah so all my harvest as well or you know trimmings i give it to them those are my vegetables that i need to get rid of in the garden hello quails they don't have names don't ask names <laughs> oh my god the weather is getting nicer and nicer here so those are my tips for you and also by the way i have salad master a salad master cooker is made of titanium so all around this uh, skelet is titanium so it will easily heat up and you can cook very quick check my videos of my salad master with randy i will link down into the description below my nine tips for you plan your outing car sharing is good save petrol speak to your family and friends if they want to go the same place that you would like to go it's good idea my 10 tips is do your laundry early in the morning you will save a lot of electricity my bonus tip for you is wear layers of jacket or pajamas in winter time because this is very important you don't want to turn on your heating really high up because it's very expensive so save some electricity so i'm going to end this video hopefully that you inspired and hopefully that you learn also that you're gonna do the same what i did i hope that you could save electricity save some money and hopefully this video will help you to tackle and save some money in this uh, inflation that's going on in the world start now go and buy some bits you don't need to buy a lot just only few but often if you're new in my channel 
thank you very much for dropping by thank you for watching oh, so i'm gonna end this video <laughs> it's getting hot that's why i'm wearing my big heart in here i love it it's shade me a lot okay thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye i think i'm gonna sit down for now it's too hot it's too hot nice to rest bye Ooh, nice weather around with my vegetables and with my fruits with lots of butterflies Thank you very much for watching Manila London. We now have a merch store with quite a lot on offer. Take a look at our Teespring from our channel page. Or you can hit a like, a subscribe or one of these tiles and stay with Manila London that little bit longer. Thank you for watching.